Welcome back everyone. I'm gonna take you along this weekend. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> For my weekend ride, um, Stephanie, my trainer, is at a Susan Fay clinic all weekend, so I'm gonna ride today and tomorrow, and I'm gonna ride Happy, and I might ride London tomorrow, and it should be a good vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy the weekend riding vlog. Here's Miss Matilda, who just made. Hello. Oh, Happy's gonna say hi. I, I sniff your butt. Happy, not a good idea. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, anyways, let's get to it. Alright, so we are out here, and since we're not having a lesson today, and this week we were working on bounces and finding my distances, these three poles are set for me today to work over and count down or count up and get the perfect spot, see my spots better. So we're doing that. Stop chewing on your reins. We're doing that and I might pop him over one or two fences if that goes well. If not, we'll leave that for tomorrow. So getting ready to get on. Happy looks super jazz. He's like, oh God. But, here we go, going red. Okay, so that was our flat work, which went pretty well, I think, warming up. And then to the left, um, he was really, really good. We figured out our distances a lot easier to the left than we did to the right. So this is beginning the right, and it was, it was really hard for me because his right is really hard for me to collect. And I try not to like repeat what I'm going to say after this ride because I did actually talk a lot about what happened. 
but his right was really hard for me to collect and really hard for me to figure out what to do because I feel like when I collect him too much to the right, he falls apart and like basically breaks to a trot. But if I push him too fast, then we get really on the forehand and almost into this like pacey, trantery thing. So it was really hard for me to figure this out. And I actually, after this weekend, had a lesson on Monday and was able to figure out riding my distance to the first, then the second, and then usually the third would fall into place after that. So that was kind of the piece I was missing while I was working on this over the weekend. But he did really well to help me figure it out. And, and um, I think over our first time through it, we did really well. Now we'll get into a little bit of what he does when he has a mild panic attack when he's alone in the arena. Um, I can ride alone as everyone has seen on this vlog, but when someone starts with us and then leaves, Happy gets really nervous. So as you see, he's really hollowed and really, really just like satellite ears here, like very, very worried. And it gets to a point where like he starts to get a little bit scary because he starts to come up a little bit which it doesn't look as bad in this video but it definitely feels the energy feels very like i'm going to blow up energy so i was glad that i was able to ride this before the show because this is probably what he will be like at the horse show because this is how he always is at the horse shows i'm hoping he's matured a little bit but i feel like since he's still doing this at home we're probably still going to run into this at the horse show this coming weekend. So it was really good to ride it and really good to try to be there for him and supportive, but not get him to a point where he was bolting and stuff. Like that was a pretty big explosion in my opinion. But we worked through it and you'll see that in this video. And it was it was good that we, that we were able to, to kind of go through it and see. Got through it, got him relaxed, and then I was able to kind of work a little bit more over the pulse to the right. And um... And yeah, so that was a really awesome ride, and I'll I'll leave past Rebecca to give you the final recap of what I felt on that day. But I wanted to come in and just kind of discuss what we just watched. Alright, we are all done with our ride today. I hope I got a couple good clips to illustrate what I'm about to talk about. So, to the left, Happy Stride is a lot longer and he's able to get through that line of poles very, very easily. Um, didn't really take much on my part, just a little bit, very small adjustment up to the first pole out of the corner and for the most part we got through it just fine. To the right, he is more conservative with how much ground he covers and no we're not stopping in front of that okay <laughs> he's more conservative with the amount of ground that he covers and so i had to just work on something to figure out let's help a little bit to figure out where to put him to the front so what i didn't really want to do but was the tactic i ended up on was collecting him in the corner and getting him a little bit more of a spring before the first one going just a tad deeper than I probably would have liked to have done on that and then push for more on the second so that is what we did and for the most part it worked out really well I tomorrow I think I want to practice over this and actually push him to go longer over the first one to the right because I think what's happening is what I was feeling was when I push for long on the first he gets very strung out and then we can't really make it through so that was why I wanted to collect and then push on the last ones and so I think tomorrow the goal would be to collect like a couple strides before and push him push the spring basically out over the first and then maybe a small half halt through my body before the second to get a little bit more springy and then we'll be out of it. So that's the goal for tomorrow. And then when our companion left, he got very worried, which is good show prep for us because he gets like that at horse shows. And so I tried to just focus and stay calm 
and kind of be okay with the forward. I didn't do the best, but you know, I know everyone's perfect and I'm still working on it. So I will work on that more as, as those needs arise, but I tried to make it so that forward was okay. That's why if I include the clips, you'll see that I kind of basically grabbed my reins at the buckle, grabbed the um, breastplate and just was like, okay, whatever you do, it's okay. No judgment. Cause I think he feels like there's a lot of judgment when he gets like that from me and I don't want him to feel that way so that he just stops getting so worried. And then after that, we worked a little bit on, I'm reading this book called, I'll put the title of it here. It's basically called like, it's something about psychology for writing and like basically taming your lizard brain. And the chapter I'm on is basically focus calm. And I wanted to work on that today. So basically it was like getting in the saddle and starting very loose, enough tension, obviously that you're not like flopping around, but you want to be calm and make sure you release any weird tension. And I noticed I have a lot of tension in my quads and in my inner thigh, especially when the canner goes to hell. And then um, my feet get really loose and jiggle. I noticed that too. And then I tried to focus on my hands and putting equal pressure. So that's like the two-parter is like, you get calm in your body at walk shot canner and feel what that feels like. And then you start to focus on one aspect. So I went from between my thighs, my feet, and my hands, and focused on each one of those individually at the walk trot canner, and tried to see how they felt and see what it did to him. And I honestly, I want to look at the video, but I honestly think that that last trot work that we did was probably some of the nicest that we've done in a long time, or in a while. So that was what we worked on today. I'm gonna take him in, it's very, really gross out. So I'm gonna take him in and probably give him a sponge bath and then head home. And then I will pick this vlog back up tomorrow when I come out to feed everybody. So uh, yeah, until tomorrow, hope you guys have a good, a good night. Good morning, it's Sunday. I've already fed, I'm putting hay out right now. Um, planning to work again over the poles and then maybe over the little one stride that was next to the poles if we're feeling good that's with happy with london i'm just hoping to achieve um relaxation and hopefully i don't screw him up since he's a trainer's horse but it's cold got like three layers on it's like 45 so we'll see how that goes for me. <laughs> Probably be fine. He's usually a good boy. But yeah, so let's get this day started. Well, I've already gotten it started, but you know what I mean. Got happy. I turned out the other pasture. And now I'm turning out the back pasture. And then I'll turn out the front pasture. Stop focusing on me. Focus on happy. All right, I wanted to give a little bit of a voiceover to this ride with London. He is a lot more sensitive of a horse than Happy is. He's obviously had a lot better start and a lot better training put on him than what Happy has had. So he's a lot of horse to ride. And normally when I ride him, I ride with Stephanie and I think Stephanie kind of makes him feel more secure. And so it was just me and him and I could totally tell that he was like, um, where is Stephanie? Why are you riding me? What's happening? So it took me a good 25 minutes to be able to mount him without him running off at the mounting block. And by running off, I mean walking away with anxiety. Um, we did actually manage to snap his bridle before we started. So I had to replace the head stall on his bridle with my head stall. And then it took us after I got on another probably about 20 minutes of walking before we really settled a little bit enough for me to feel like if I added a little bit of leg, we weren't going to shoot off into a gallop. And then we trotted for probably another like 10 minutes and I feel like I'm riding pretty backed off and defensively. I feel like he also looks just a little bit worried, but it was a really, it was good for me to get on and ride him, I think. I think it was good for my confidence and it was good for him to not have a bad experience where like basically the bridle snapped him in the face because he stepped on his reins because I was not paying attention. And then he was already nervous about me riding. And so I think that this all went really well and he's a really cool horse to ride. It just, um, it definitely was not the ride I was hoping to have on him. I wanted everything to go really, really smoothly. And of course it didn't. So 
But this is you know, some of the clips from our ride. We just did walk trout, like I said, and he was r really just a good boy. He had like some small spooks at st stupid things like a bird flying and, and other things, but that's just normal horse stuff and that wasn't really anything to be too worried about. So yeah, this was just a couple clips from my ride on him and um, I hope that you guys enjoy seeing another horse than just happy on here. All right, well, I survived riding London, even if it was a little bit terrifying. Oh, Happy's gonna poop, lovely. So I'm gonna ride Happy now. Don't know what we're gonna get out of him today. Could be good, could be bad. He seems a little distracted. Come on. Don't know why. So yeah, we're gonna work on the poles with Happy today and maybe jump a little bit if we're feeling good. And uh, yeah, so anyways. All right, so I definitely feel like I slightly overdid it on the ride before this, so the Saturday ride before I did this one. And Happy was just a little bit weak behind to the right, especially since we really drilled that right lead canner through the poles. So I didn't. I decided on that day not to jump and not really to work on the poles and just work on loosening the brace that he had in his body, especially when we would go to the right, which I feel like was through the left lumbar area of his back and his right shoulder, like right where his neck meets his shoulders, right before the withers. So we just worked on bending and suppling at the walk and trot after that right lead canter where he was falling out behind and um, also having just issues keeping a good canter pace. However, that left lead canter, in my opinion, it was very, very nice. It was lovely. 
So we just worked on that. We worked on getting him soft and getting him feeling comfortable. Um, and I probably only rode for about 30, 40 minutes, which was a normal ride time for me. On Saturday, I think I rode for like an hour and 20 minutes, which is not really a normal ride amount for me unless I'm in a lesson. And when I'm in a lesson, of course, I'm waiting for somebody else to do jumping and stuff. So we're not riding for that entire time. And unfortunately, that's what I did on Saturday is rode for that entire time with him. So we worked on the suppling and then as you'll see coming up soon, I started to rub his lower back, his left side lower back. And then he started to suggest with his face where he needed me to massage him. And I actually, where he suggested, found a pretty large knot in his back. So I rubbed that with my hands. And then eventually, because I wasn't getting it deep enough, I also rubbed it with my heel. <laughs> so. Uh, don't do this unless you trust your horse, but I definitely trusted him that that's what he wanted and that's what he needed and I did not want to get off and walk all the way back to the mounting block and then get on the mounting block and rub his um, back with my elbow. So I just used my heel here. Sorry if you hear any background noise. Again, my dog is wanting to be have the attention given to her and not to me doing this voiceover. So that's how we ended this ride and I was actually really pleased with how he ended it and watching the video back I'm really really happy with what I got out of him so I think that this is all really good progress and I'm really really happy with with how everything went so yeah All right, so Happy was a little bit weak today. I don't know if it was from the work that we did yesterday or if he was just overnight had a tie-up issue. He was a little sweaty this morning, which is not normal for him. I'm talking about you. Um, so, here. so I decided not to do the poles or to jump because I don't think that would have been fair. And I decided to just work on that left hind weakness that we have at the walk and trot and it went really well towards the end he's like who are you talking to <laughs> ready okay so i got a little nervous because someone that i don't know came into the barn to ride so I had to cut that last audio short. But basically what I was saying is I think that Happy may or may not have tied up last night because he was sweaty when I came in this morning and he's not usually one to be sweaty in his normal blanket level. And he was good today. Here he's in his rainbow cooler. He was good today, but he definitely was having some issues with his left hind getting under him, which caused issues on the right lead canner. So we worked on that today. Did a little bit of some rubbing of some knots in his lumbar area because that's what he requested. And then I gave him a bath because tomorrow is my last day to ride before the horse show. And we have, oh, I should probably get treats. We have the horse show on Saturday. I don't know if they're gonna have warm water at the showgrounds. They might, but they might not. And I don't wanna risk not having it. So I gave him a bath, put some liniment in the bath for him too. And now I'm gonna put some cowboy magic in his mane and tail and trim it just a smidgen. And then I'll turn him out and I'll put all my stuff away. So here we go. just a little bit because um, I think it's a little too long to braid. What do you think? He said he don't care. All right, now to the tail.
he's so handsome. We trimmed his mane. Looks pretty great. Trimmed his bridal path. Um, I did his tail too back there. I probably should do his feet actually. Let me do this, he's got feathers. here. Thanks for coming for a weekend riding vlog with me and Happy. I hope that it was exciting, fun to watch. Um, he's all ready for the show essentially now, clean and, and trimmed. So yeah, I guess the next time that you will see us will probably be for a show vlog. So I hope you guys look forward to that. I'm pretty excited to see how we do at this Christmas show. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you know when I post and uh, see you guys next time.